So, in our recap, we are in uh, Slicer's regularly weekly mandated therapy session. Mm. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh huh. So now one of us. Oh. Have... Okay. I just have my hand up the entire time. <laughs> yes, <Rodeman. laughs> Uh, when are we gonna get to the part where we find out if there's teeth inside me or not? What? Open I'm your mouth. Hearing bots that aren't there. Schizophrenia. Got it. Anyway, uh, if <laughs> none of you tell me what the problem is, I'm gonna start picking on someone. Okay. Pop question: Is Seisman chair mode? Yes. Are we all on him? Yes. <laughs> he looks like uh, a hedonism bot from Futurama, basically. No, no, no. I remember that. I'm just wondering how he's holding up. His chassis With is surprisingly sturdy. With all of us. Yes. All of us. All right. Uh, Light Blaze, you first. Well... Give me a second. Okay. Uh, okay. Wh wh while uh, Re collects her thoughts, I would like to say thank you. I didn't have a scenario prepared this time. I started writing down a bunch of them because I knew thank this you. would happen. Okay. Thanks. Anyway, thoughts <laughs> approximately co collected. Um, well, oh, Frank, I can't remember what happened last session. I'm so sorry. I oh, know. I'm so bad at time. Nope. Uh, there, I got, I, there, I got it. Um, okay, so um, Light Blaze is repressing the memory. I think we should move on for a bit. Huh? I can't remember when I last slept. Uh... That, that's part of the reason why she appears to be repressing the memory. Speaking oh. of, Light Blaze, roll me a d6. Oh boy. Oh no, I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a one. Okay, you, o you only uh, didn't sleep last night. Okay. Uh, I know there are bits that are escaping me right now, but, um, well, there are now lots of little spy construct things that are definitely on the ship. They've been on the ship already. It's just we finally found them and noticed they were a thing. Uh, so if you see any little creepy organic looking dolls, that's what those are. Oh, I found one of those. I think they're adorable. And hard cut oh. to like three of them on his desk. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay. We're in uh, charge, right? Can't we just destroy those and not have to ask permission? <laughs> technically, Slicer is the captain. Dear is God, technically, he outranks you. Why do you want those? I think they're they're, cute. they're spying on us, and that's not good. I think they're cute. Can't you put, like, little blindfolds on them or something? Oh, hang on. I got you. And... His arm just like extends. You hear a little as his arm slowly goes over to his desk, opens a drawer, and puts a, one of those little paper pirate hats on top of him. Is that better? A little. Why would the, the paper pirate hats don't cover the eye? But okay. No, no, push them it, down far enough, maybe. You got. You got to put it at a jaunty angle. Oh, he wasn't doing it to cover them up. He thought it'd look cute on them. No, I'm saying that's how it would cover the eyes. Mm. They're still watching us. Mm -hmm. I think the listening part's the more worrying thing. Honestly, I feel like whatever we say, he already knows. Yeah, because he's listening. I mean, he's got to sleep sometimes, right? Anyway, that's besides the point a little bit. We're getting slightly off topic. Hard cut um, to burst aid, just making his 18th cup of Energon coffee for that day. My, my thought was just going to be like a DVR thing. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, there's um, the creepy little organic looking dolls. Apparently they look like organics, which was news. Um, We learned... Okay. Well, hmm, I guess big notable points. One, dolls from a bot named Burst Aid who's from another dimension. Congratulations, the multiverse is real. We and already we, knew we, that. We, 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 yes. we've, been, we've been to the, the other one already. Yes. Like all, all of us. Also, it's 
yes, we knew it, but like, yeah, no, this it's it still bears repeating. Two, uh, ah, uh, yes. There seems to be a space between the multiverses that is bad and fleshy. And not in the way uh, that beast formers are fleshy. This is not a racism thing. Horizon this... casually looks ca Horizon casually looks out the window. Slicer casually looks at Rotor back. Uh... Uh, this is a we don't have words for what has happened to them and the sort of thing this is besides, you know, combining a couple and calling it an evil curse. Um three three? Three. Yeah, three. Uh Grindor has, in fact, been infected by the, the evil thingy from Between Universes. This is a problem. He is our pilot. Why are we not, like, scanning stuff and, like, getting rid of it or doing something? Uh, we, we tried that, remember? No. Uh, uh -huh. it, it didn't work. Uh -huh. It's in his spine. It's in all his systems. Uh -huh. I had an idea about that actually later. If if you if you're thinking about killing him, I'm not. I'm no, no, absolutely not. I was saying we could probably use some of the gunk that he that's infecting him to track down. Wait, 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 wait. You, you have some of that stuff. Kind kind of. Is this gonna cut the? Will this get us out of the rest of the therapy session? No, but that would have been <laughs> nice to know earlier. I forgot and I haven't slept. I haven't slept. Why don't... I haven't slept in 14 days. You don't see me you don't see me complaining. Why don't you we don't... just why don't we talk about it? No. He why has we... freeze. Hard mm. cut to all the empty uh coffee cups in the corner of his office that went unnoticed until now. Good. Am I gonna have to That's sedate you again? No, I don't want it. As a morale officer, I am ordering that you take a day off or two for rest. A day off! <laughs> and he converts Wait. into robot mode and just scampers out of his own office. Wait, what? no, we were going to show you the thing! You're the door uh, lock. At therapy. Uh, wait, wait lock? No, what? no wait. wait. Wait, I call foul on that. I knocked him out last week. Being knocked unconscious does not constitute a healthy eight hours of rest. I didn't, I, I didn't say I was healthy. I'm just saying I broke the 14 day streak. Do you lock us in here? Yes. Whoosh. Thanks. Anyway, I look out the window and contemplate our current situation. What if we just take everyone's sparks and put them in a different body on a different ship and then blow up this one? I don't think it works like that. Usually. No. I look at my place. <laughs> Why not? I mean, I didn't remember any of the bits of Nitro Blaze without a lot of outside intervention and a lot of time. Yeah, so we might just be on a ship full of insomniac people. Not amnesiac? Ask, amnesiac amnesiac that's people. The one. That's the one. Not insomniac, we already have one of those. Two of those. Two of those. Life ways. You gotta see. sleep. I am your moral officer. I am telling you to sleep. You're not mom. Sleep. And part two to that is that I am doing so much paperwork. There's so much paperwork to do. Light Blaze, I barely do any paperwork. You know, you can give me some. Okay. We actually stuck in this room. Anyway, you know, Light Blaze is going to just. Ooh, is, is it going to be, is, is gonna be a, bo a bottle episode? An entire session stuck in Light, one room. Light Blaze has the keys to every door on the ship. Oh, right. I, mean, I, also, I also have I, a key. It's just my distracted, destructive. I mean, we all have keys in varying degrees of intensity. Light Blaze has the actual physical door keys. I mean, so do I. What's your point? Uh, yeah. Light Blaze has it because person in. Oh, no. Light Blaze has like seven jobs. Oh, that always has like seven jobs. Anyway, okay. I have one. Okay, I'm. Um, while you go sort that out, I'm gonna go slicer so you can talk about it. Oh no! No. I'm gonna. I, I I unlock the door. Slicer's gonna roll infiltration. 
Oh, yeah, Slicer yeah, yeah. doesn't have anything in Infiltration. I'm marking what? Slicer as my target. It's the, oh, no. it's the natural one. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm rolling the flex, okay? All right, Horizon, let's see it. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's still awful, but it beats a one. <laughs> uh, so it, it, part, part of the reason of that roll is because getting him was part, just an excuse to leave, leave the room. He's so bad at trying to sneak that you can hear, like, you know how when someone tries to run, but they can't actually get any friction, so they're just running in the same spot? Shuffling? Yes. Mm. And you can just hear the grinding on the floor. You know, I, I knew I shouldn't have double waxed. <laughs> Alright. I go around and push him so his mo movement starts getting a direction. Towards the med bay where the grinder is. I'm going to assume that Lightblaze would have left um, someone to supervise. Which one? Uh, just one of the metal, medical staff you came up with. Uh, tour tour Tourniquet's good at restraining people. Hence the name. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Ree, since it's medical staff, why don't you come up with a voice for Tourniquet? So yeah, Ree, you got patch up, gearbox, staples, and tourniquet as your staff so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. I do think it is going to be a tourniquet, mostly mm. because um, they're the one who has presumably the only battlefield experience, which means if it comes down to it, you know. Mm. I'd argue patch up also has some experience, but that's just me. Yeah, probably also patch up. Anyway, med bay. Yep. A lot to keep track of. Unfortunately for you, I've only got I've got like two other voices I can do, so you're gonna get something that'll deal psychic damage. Oh no. Uh, editor, just eighty eighty yard voice with something that I'm pretty sure you have. Oh hey you guys! It's lovely to see you all. Grindor's been a pretty good patient since you guys left. Looks like Grindor. Honestly, that's about what I expected for their voice. Same. Uh but yeah, it's covering his shoulder now. Ah. Alright. <sighs> Quick flash. Hold on, before he does that, I'm going to ready myself to try keep him down if he jumps up again. Quasar, I'm the one with the ice gun. I know, but still. Oh yeah, by the way, Horizon, did you push Slicer all the way here? Uh, well, first I, I would see I would push him in the direction of the med bay to see what happens, and if not, then yes. He he, he just can't get any traction on this freshly waxed floor. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, okay, in that case, I'm going to use my rifle like, uh, what's that sport? I know not, you're not hockey. Not hockey. What's the one with the brushes? So you mean the shuffleboard? No, the, the other one. Curling. Curling. Now here's the problem with that. Uh -huh. Actually, wait. No, the bit. The bit. Not the broomy bit. The stick bit before the broomy bit, right? Yeah. Can you tell none of us play sports? I know how to swim. I was on a swim team. I know how swim sport work. I mean, I've done sports. I just never stuck with them. I anyway. know swim sport. And yes, I know that I'm technically not using a brush. I'm, I'm technically not brushing slicer dare, but... You know. I mean, there is the, the tossing the bit. Anyway. The, the bit is I'm forming slight raises in the floor, so when I push him, he'll just like... Start he moving. Stays off balance. See what I'm vi what I'm visualizing right now is you're basically pe playing pool with Slicer, and Slicer's the pool ball. Uh, okay, actually, you know what? You're right. That's funnier. <laughs> you just aim at a specific corner, and you just see him bounce off like four walls by the time he gets there. Uh, yeah, sure. this, this man has no dignity left. <laughs> you say it like he ever had dignity. He hasn't worn the maid outfit yet. He stole some. He burned the ba the maid outfit. Anyway. This took such a weird turn so fast. Hey, you're the one that made him run in place. <laughs> that, that's true. To be fair, he rolled a one. Anyway, the, the grindor, the boy. I'm flashing him to reduce the spread. Oh, well, it's a good thing someone, because I rolled a secret roll, had the sense to actually restrain him this time. I mean, we, we learned our lesson the first time. Yeah. Yeah, he's restrained, but does the whole exorcist thing. Yep, yep, yep. I'm tempted just to leave mine beside him, but I don't want anybody to grab it. I, 
I think it needs to be in somebody to work. I mean, well, it. What? No, we can take ours out. No, sorry, let me that. It needs to be in the possession of somebody to work. Like, I don't know if it works if it's just de- if it's just there, you know, like someone needs to hold it. I. Mm, this is semantics we don't need to get into right now. I Listen, think. Listen, I've, so ho- I've been a magic holder for about what five years now. I I wow. don't know anything. Yes. I was like, can I give slicer assistance? Please do. Okay, do it again. <laughs> do it again. Okay, that's better. <laughs> there. Slicer oh, has. You're an looking idea. at the wrong shoulder. <laughs> yeah. He's looking so, at the okay. wrong shoulder the first time. 25 and a crit. Slicer has an idea. He has no idea if this is going to work, because this is all very new to everyone. Okay, I have uh, an idea. Yeah. And I swear it won't end in Grindor running all over the ship at 500 miles an hour. I mean, he's he's Australian, so I'm really hoping that's not possible. All right, so what if we fashion, like, a device he can wear that would, like, not, like, inject him, but, like, radiate Matrix energy into him. So, like those collars made some of the Beast Former kids wear in what was the place called? Araya? Yes. Araya, yeah. Okay. I, I just retroactively invented the Cyber Fleece. <laughs> uh, I will need at least one of your Matrixes just to experiment with. Mm. Yeah, sure. I, I need a, I need a, a W. Alright, so just hand slicer the matrix. I place. Mm-hmm. I, I I need a second pair of hands with this. AKA, please lend him assistance, dear God, he needs it. Yeah, I. Not only am I going to lend him assistance, even though this technically isn't combat. Um, can I? Augment his power, give him plus two on that as well. Like that, that, that would be nice. Cause it actually, it just says per turn. It doesn't specify combat. Yeah. Oh, it's once per. Co- anyway, it doesn't matter. Once Wait. it's a turn. Sorry. What What is he doing right now? Uh, he's working on Making a collar that emanates r- matrix energy. Okay. Uh, can I Can I do anything? You already gave him your matrix, so. Yeah, no, I, I could do one more. Okay. Uh, so got to I know he had light places. Is this would this be a technology then for the actual device part? Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, I can actually lend assistance and then upshift it to from um, the augment power. Slicer is theoretically that? good at this. Hey, Macarena. Light blaze slicer, science montage. Ooh. What was that? The montage. <laughs> happens. The, mon- speaker. the montage was too strong. At one point, Lightblaze knocks something over and screams. Nothing is quite as good at building confidence in a scientific device. Like one of the two people making it, yeah. falling face first into it. Blaster decides to play some uh, some good Earth music, which just so happens to just motivate you two even more. Oh, is, dun, 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 it's it's dun, in the in game chat. Dun, 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 of course, of course, of course. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and obviously, this is a good song, and no, I no, actually no. have played this song in high school in pet band. You were a band kid. I played the French horn for seven years. Huh. Mm, that, that, oh. track, that, track, that tracks. <laughs> that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Anyway, you two successfully make a prototype matrix collar. It's very big and bulky and cumbersome, but hey, it theoretically works. Is it demeaning? A little bit. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I wouldn't go so far as it's degrading, like you're making him wear an animal collar, but it's it's not great. So, so. It is clearly some sort of medical device. Uh, it's like one of those uh, harnesses to straighten out your back. Mm-hmm. Uh, my, like, my, not... my, thought, my, my thought was a neck brace. Yeah. It's both. Like, it's not oh. actually degrading, but it's one of those things where he will get looks like, oh, I'm so sorry for your like condition yeah. sort of thing. That's, that's why I say demeaning instead of degrading. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, 
I'm the greatest inventor ever. Hey, hold hold that. We we don't we you don't get to say it unless it works. Sheepishly mm-hmm. shuffles back to the the med bay. All right, uh, mm-hmm. light blades. If you'd like to uh, do a technology, mm-hmm. actually just Would... flat d twenty. Okay, just flat d twenty. I dropped my dice. Was that the d twenty? It was. Well, that was a five. Go ahead and roll that again. Okay. An edge because, you know, a slicer and also... And that was a natural one. I'd like to use a story point, I please, think. Please do. Just just roll technology. I'm scared of what happens if you just roll a d20 again. Would this count as a repair check? Sure. Okay, because here's the thing. That gives me so many different things. Which is why I'm going to roll it in roll 20. See? Nice. There we go. See, it, it successfully... Uh, so that's the 24 for the, the home slices out in the internet. All right, so... I, I would assume you're, like, monitoring him as vitals and all that. Mm-hmm. All right, so do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, bad news first. Uh, he is not completely cured and expunged and all that good news uh it is manageable it is not as consuming does he's actually not getting rid of it does he seem more himself yes he's able oh. to function as a cybertronian it's just just don't let him take that off under any circumstance ever yeah. until you can find a permanent fix yeah. Should we get should we get some handcuffs? <laughs> I don't think that's necessary since from this is me extrapolating, but from the sounds of it, now that he's got the radiation thing going on, he's realizing, wait, what did I do? Oh, why did I do that? Oh, that was mm-hmm. bad. Oh yeah. god, I look ridiculous. That too. Also, Light Blaze, would you like to give another technology to Maybe uh, think of a possible permanent solution. This would not be repair because this isn't a repair. This is an invention. Yep. And uh, Slicer will uh, lend assistance on this, even though this isn't context Thank combat. But you, goodness. you know what I mean. The two nerds are putting their heads together. That is an eighteen. Mm-hmm. No. All right, like, please. I have a theory. Uh huh. All right, so. The the four of you have a matrix, right? Each, yes. But it's not oh, no. the matrix. So you're saying this is another reason to find where the matrix went yes. when Primus yeeted it off. Yes. Okay. Think about it. So you got like four, each like sharing the same power source, right? But that the the matrix is like the first. Like, theoretically, the most, like, pure of them? It's definitely from before Cybertron got poisoned with Dark Energon, so it probably does have just a baseline higher power, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd say it's worth a shot. Alright. Oh, no. What? Cat. Uh, (laughs) Wait, when did that get in here? Steel Jaw. (laughs) Alright, well, we're... we're, 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 we we need to be Blaster anyway. Let's go. Speaking of, uh, you you see Blaster in the hallway looking for Steel Jaw and also greeting the other crewmates who are like mildly fangirling over him. Mm-hmm. All Good you fun. hear from him is. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I do love no. The music you've given him for this just <laughs> mwah, chef kiss. I'm trying to make his music taste at least slightly different from Grindor. He's more of a classic mm. rock guy versus hello, angry. Hello, hello, hello. 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 <laughs> okay, yeah. that, that's that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. Also, I can resist the opportunity to throw in Nirvana every chance I get. And okay. like I said, I'm not good at singing. I would be the person who doesn't sing in the musical episode that everyone seems to want to happen. And by uh, everyone, I mean the other folks at the table, minus mm-hmm. maybe Circuit slash Rotorbat. Unsure. Uh, I'm sorry, repeat that. Do you want a musical session, yay or nay? 
can we prepare for it? Define prepare. I don't know. You give me some kind of warning. Yeah, emotionally. I'll think about it. Are we writing songs ahead of time? Like, what? I'll think about it. All right, fine. Okay, I guess if it ends up being a thing that ends up happening, I'll be down for a musical episode as long as I'm not expected to actually sing. I'm not. I mean, or at least sing well. <laughs> yeah. A night before Primus is Miss. Primus Miss? The night before Primus I got that covered. Don't you worry about that. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. oh, boy. We Every okay. good campaign anyway. needs a holiday episode. But this isn't that. We're not there yet. Anywho, nope. Blaster. Anyway. Blaster. Okay, so you heard the announcements over the intercom, right? Uh, he nods. Okay, great. Okay, so we may have a way to help solve some of the problems caused by that, but we, but we do. I, I incidentally, we do still need to find who we assume is going to be Optimus. I know, I know. So that being said, uh. You you do remember where the Ark and the Nemesis landed, right? You'll never take me alive, copper! We're not we're not asking you to fight. Uh, combat's kind of not our goal, seeing as this is a civilian, non-combatant ship. Roll persuasion. That's because it's not a lie. Yeah. Can I let assist? Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm probably going to need it. Can I also have the caveat to our persuasion that you don't have to go. We'll drop you off wherever. Just please tell us where, where where it is. So that would be... I would say with that caveat, that would be an additional upshift. Okay, an upshift. Yeehaw, that's a d4 then instead. Dang. So that's 18 total. 18. All right, so you can see him thinking about it. He's rubbing his chin and he eventually says, This might as well happen. Adult life is already so goddamn weird. <laughs> okay. I do a stage whisper to light plays. So does that mean he's coming with us, or does he want us to drop him off? Is that quiet enough for him to not hear? No, no, no. I said stage whisper, so it, it is loud enough for him to hear. Should I stay or should I go? Okay, now I know you're doing this on purpose. <laughs> hey. uh, we have a well-established bonus structure. Still need to get you guys the contracts and code of conduct, and then also fill you in on the other extra things that you might have heard whispers about but don't know the specifics of but that's for later <sighs> oh anyway. that, reminds that reminds me uh, okay i'm gonna text uh Qu- quasar oh what's up uh prepare for new crew member celebration oh yes can do i'll go get some confetti and a sound system <sighs> One of the crew members is the sound system quasar. Yeah, but this is for like. That's their job. I guess, yeah, I assume they want to. They'll we'll we'll give it as a as a, like a gift, like a stage, like a welcoming gift for them if they ever want to do entertainment. All right, and at this point, um, zero is calling. Okay, we are not going to miss another check-in. Okay, uh, so cut away to. The whatever 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 room we do this this calls in. That would be the conference helm. room. Slash helm, yeah. Helm or forgot, conference room. I forgot the word conference. Don't ask me how. So which I one? Uh conference room, because I'm assuming that's where there's a pretty hollow projector and also a little bit of privacy, so we're not all yeah. up in everyone's grill. It is an ever so slightly qu- higher quality projection. It's a the one in the helm is four eighty P, this one's a seven twenty. Mm-hmm. Uh, also the conference room has better chairs. Also that, yes. Has the cool office chairs with the wheels in them. Yeah. Make like Firefoot. Anyway. I can't. He doesn't have the yeah, fire feet. Yep. Anyway. No, I'm, too, I'm too cool. Yep. <laughs> uh-huh. Anyway, this is um the Redeemer reporting or whatever. Uh, hey, Light Plays. Uh, I don't mean to alarm you, but this is probably nothing, but... We have a little bit of a situation. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, someone I don't know who. It's one of the new sparks. Um, stole one of my ships and uh, made a beeline for wherever you guys are going. Uh, do, you have, do you have a name? Uh, unfortunately, no. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, he, I, I have a vague video footage. It's very grainy. Yeah, okay. I'll take anything we can get at this point. Was yeah. anyone else on site? Um, there was, but he, he didn't kill anyone, but they're, they were, they were spooked. They were, uh, a little frightened when he just stormed through and stole it. So, so they didn't have a visual. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, so he shows you the footage and it's basically like a big black car tank just rolling on through blasting holes in security walls, shooting down security oh. cameras and just rolling on in. Okay. Hi. Hi, this is the player out of character. Oh, you son of a glitch. Yes. Wait. Anyway, is, is this roadblock? is the hunch. I'm not going to say anything. Go on. I'm going to say it. Is that roadblock? Is it? I don't know. He was a car, not a tank. Anyway. No. Yeah, it's been so long. It's been so long either. since it's been so long since seen in vehicle mode. He, he's just the Batmobile, straight up, just the Batmobile. That's. I mean, like the Batmobile was uh, in between of a car and a tank. So, <laughs> Fair know. point. Anyway. That's what we needed. Yeah. Could I roll insight to see if I've seen anybody like that? What's insight? What insight? insight alert- in this- oh, alertness. Alertness. Um, yeah, sure, you can give me an alertness. Uh, can I get on out to see if, if if I have any idea who this could have been a reincarnation of? Do you want... Uh, you yeah. have an edge on yeah, alert, site, right? I'm alert. just gonna give you a upshift then. Yeah, alertness or streetwise, whatever you guys prefer. Oh, it would be streetwise? Yeah. If you okay, want. Okay, then I'm gonna roll for streetwise. Point seven. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use worth a shot then. And zoom in on the picture. Enhance. <laughs> yep, <laughs> enhance. Okay, so the only big black tank you'd remember seeing firsthand is Megatron. <gasps> uh, yeah, I know. I got a five. Oh dear so, God, it's yeah. Megatron. Anyway, continue your thought. Oh boy. Huh. Well, you were you got the highest roll, so. Is is it? What the twenty-seven get me so? Um, well, the video is very low quality. It's like 240. It's 144 P. So you you basically just get a big black blur that's vaguely tank shaped. It's hard to actually. You'd have to see it in person. Man, what are, what are, what are, what are we? <laughs> no, I I got nothing for that. <laughs> this base okay. was under attack, sir. So let me. Ha ha ha. This might be a little bit not in spirit, but um through cross training uh-huh. um i did pick up data analyst from Ooh. what what from when i had um a certain mind reader in my brain oh dear in which i get an edge on science and technology tests related to extracting or processing data hmm. i would say that processing that sort of video feed to enhance it would count wouldn't you sure <laughs> oh my god we're actually doing it and so that would be a uh, just a regular technology, correct? Uh, that would stand a reason. Yep, I'm getting to use my perk, you guys. It's all- I'm so proud of you. It's I've been had so it long. So for so long. I've had it since level eight. Okay, I'm glad you've never gotten it. a chance to use that until now. No, because then it was so I got it when we were doing a lot of lock picking and stuff, and then we stopped doing lock picking because suddenly it was not subtle anymore suddenly we got into a full lot on all at war oh my god i'm gonna use a story point it's like the universe doesn't want light blaze to have fun you know that 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 should that should be the new campaign name 24 (laughs) there we go all right so good news is you can like fix the footage to like restore it punch it into whatever computer but it's going to take like six hours okay and uh, so you know what that's that's fair we're processing information from yeah also another planet at this point yeah i'm going to have someone of the of the group of us alert one galva gallo specifically and also the crew overall to be on alert for possible um intercepting course from potentially hostile uh cybertronian on that uh, note, Gallows texts you guys. Yeah. We'll text Uh-oh. three out of the four of you. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He's like, hey, 
we really don't have anything better to do. You want to get some drinks at uh, Roxy Rockets or whatever it was called? I'm assuming this is a group message that specifically doesn't have Quasar in it from the sounds of it? Yes. The place Fair closed. enough. That, was that place closed? No, that was a, that was a little diner. Am... Hmm. I feel like I don't Roxy remember. Rockets sounds like a Hooters equivalent. <laughs> you know what? Just because I'm not sure, we're going to say Roxy Rockets was a slightly lower class place nearby. That was aping the name. Uh, okay. Uh, they were hoping to get confused tourists. Yes. Uh, apparently, and it worked too well, apparently. Yep. Anyway, right. I'm going to add the message. Can Quasar come with? Because I'm not going to just invite Quasar along without permission, but also, like, come on, man. Okay, so before, Yep. Yeah, before, oh. before I say he responds, I want to clarify, this isn't me, the GM, picking on Quasar, this is Gallos. No, uh, no, it's fine, I get that. Yeah. No, no, uh, I, I, I got that. He sends a single no, red-faced angry emoji. <laughs> okay, uh... Hold on, gotta see if... I could call in favors for shift covering. I mean, Quasar will just stay if you tell him. <laughs> and watch over the ship. Just say that you're going out somewhere or something. And that you need somebody to watch the ship. That's fair. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to text uh, Broom Broom to see if they could uh, take my shift for, for today for, in exchange for a favor. Just because I love that name so much, I'm not even going to make anyone roll anything for that. Yeah, you can cover for it. And I okay. guess I'll send well, a message but... to Staples. <laughs> I love these names so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, basically, every, whoever you text can fill in for your shift. Mm -hmm. Hey, and... Rudervac, want to make up someone you work with? Why? Want to make up someone who works with you in armory slash security? Yeah, then I'm going to be having to Google names to see if they're not taken or not. I don't know. You're allowed uh, to use names. It makes it even funnier if it turns out this is just someone with a different job. Warhead, how's that? Oh, -ho. aha. That's fun. Yeah, uh, Mr. Warhead can fill in for Rotorback's shift. And that adding him to the list. And I guess we just let Quasar know that we have been, we're heading out, do a thing. Would he be down to watch the ship? And also yeah. my place is going to hand him a stack of like, essentially, it's just, you have to basically make copies of this one thing, but it's copies with signatures, but luckily authorization. Anyway, it's a whole thing. The instructions are included. I The me okay. is not going to get into it. Lightblaze absolutely goes into it probably a little bit too long. Quasar, alertness to see how good of a job you do. Okay. Would instructions being left assist or not? I don't know. I did leave. I think then. Why am I at now? Am I at D10 not alertness? Okay. Where am I at? No, I'm still at six. Where'd it go? There it is. Ah, that's good. That's a 12 and a six. So that's a critical. Oh, 12 nice. plus six is 18. Okay, so. The instructions that Lightblaze leaves you, along with the verbal instructions, is just a lot to deal with. So you do get stuck at some points just trying to parse this information, but yeah, you, you get that paperwork done. Quasar surprisingly likes doing paperwork. Surprise. <gasps> it keeps him grounded. Yeah! Yeah. Everyone else, uh, on the way to Roxy Rockets, I assume? Uh-huh. Right, everyone, give me an alertness if you would. Oh boy. Uh, sight paste? Yep, it sure is. Oh boy. 15? 15, okay. Uh, you four go and place yourselves at the bottom if you would. Okay, you have to promise not to laugh. Yeah, one. It works. Six. Did you. Likewise, did you get double ones? I got a three <laughs> with the with the with the fumble for that three. Well, at least you get a story point. Would you like to use a story point since you have so many? Yeah. Hey, sorry, could you help me out? I'm not, I'm not dropping on map. Uh, that's weird. 
So that is now ten. Ten, right? Oh, scrap. Yeah, my my talk is broken. Hold on. Yeah, I can seem to place it as well. Yeah, right, use so the bathroom can... real quick. I'll be right back. All right. But yeah, circuit. Uh, the only thing you missed is that everyone rolled high enough to see the interesting to the Velocitron plot thing, but not the more immediate thing. Need to go back to the. Okay. I'm waiting for everyone to get back before I go into detail. Uh, hello. Ah, are you back? Yes, I wanted to get some bread. I wish I had bread. Let's get this bread! Alright, so anyway, uh, 15 Horizon, uh, you spot a 50 blue and white fella just walk past you. And he he's really twitchy. It's like, that, get him off me. He's not really saying that, but that's like the vibe you get. Like the guy scratching at himself, get him off me, that kind of vibe. Sorry, are, are, no. are we still on the ship or did we just get off? Uh, you're walking down the street on the way to Roxy Rockets. You see this fella walk past you looking real shifty. He looks like he's having a breakdown, you could say. <sighs> Lloyd. But, um, Boy, but anyway. I wonder what his name could be. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, what you guys don't see is the car in the alley waiting to run Gallows over. Oh my god. So, what? Uh, so you guys hear, like, an engine revving, and then you just see a car th speed out of the alley and just plow Gal straight into a wall. Oh, my Primus. Is he okay? Define okay. Is he in one piece? Yes. Okay, that's something. So, uh, this big car thing and Gallows are just going to start fighting. Let's help. I just... Gauss just pushes it back, and the car just stops. This is weird. It's not quite a third mode, but kind of a third mode. The wheels just spread out from the car, and a big old tank turret comes out of the top with a mini machine gun. <gasps> and just starts blasting. Oh. Just starts blasting them. Uh, this is remind me of... Anyway, uh, I'm a counter boss. <laughs> All right, uh, what, how's it going? Uh, let's uh, see it. Sure. Four. For what? Yeah, four stun. Nice. So you managed to keep it in place long enough for Gallus to like shake it off. And let's see him roll might to see how this goes. Oh. Twenty-three and it's great. Um Gallus just rips the turret off <gasps> of the Oof. roof of the car and just starts wailing on it with it. <gasps> beat, wow. Beat him with his own arm situation here. Yes. Well, we don't know if that's his arm. But, but like, you know, it's the whole, you're beating someone with their own limb. Yeah. Sure. I would say, does anyone plan on, like, getting involved in this? I'm already shooting. More involved. I, yeah, I think we should try to help. We seem to be handling that one guy okay, though, right? Yeah. Aside from the fact that he just got ran into a wall. Uh-huh. You know what I'm gonna do? Yeah. I'm gonna do what I do best. Taylor? Which is repairs. Oh. Yeah, let's assess him. Yeah, considering his chest plate is like completely caved in by that, that would be nice. I'm literally just gonna get up right next to him. Uh, while he's still wailing on the dude, presumably. <laughs> uh, wails on him until the turret is no longer usable. Uh huh. How's our uh, new friend going? Um, actually, let me get some uh, good music going in the in-game chat so I can set the mood. And, uh, uh he's gonna transform. <sighs> Alright, who is it? Uh, you tell me. Ah! See, I called it. I, I, I just want that on the record. I called it. It is Roadblock. Okay. What surprised me was, was how fast the turnaround was. Uh-huh. Naughty Cybertronian. Yeah, all Mr. Roadblock 2.0 has to say is, why are you helping him? Why are you oh. attacking him? Do you think a name change is enough to let him get away with everything he's done? Uh, I Oh, I, I was crap. He, he remembers he's everything. He's not <laughs> literally the same bot. I, I, you don't know what we've been dealing with, okay? And do you believe him? For now, yeah, I do. Listen, man, he was... 
Right. You were... We should find a place a little bit more private to talk about this because it's a long story and literally both of you do deserve to hear this, actually. That was going to be pointing at, um, presumably, Second this and him. Uh, Assuming, you're... does he, is he recognizably roadblock now that this is? Um, you look at the in game chat and you tell me. So, yeah, yeah probably. I think the alt mode and then the build, probably. Turns me down. Yeah. He's roadblock, roadblock, but angry. Uh, road blast, one might say. <laughs> I'm not calling him that, but that's good. I'm, I'm mad I didn't say it first. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Light Blaze is going to, from Gallus' hand, gently pry the remains of the cannon. Oh, he's not letting go of that. Buddy. No. Okay. You can keep it for now. All right, then at least put it away so you aren't walking around with it in public. Puts it into his subspace somehow. Yep, and then I am going to roll to repair. Yeah, so as you guys just walk away and you do that, Roadblock's just going to say to Gallus, I'm prying those from your cold offline hands. Not now, but I will. You, you sure do pull the massive uh, front bumper-sized dent out of Gallus's chest. I am getting unreasonably good at removing dents from your chest plate. Oh, like that's my fault? No, it's not your fault. It's just the fact that it has been three times in three days is, is something. Well, it's my job to take the hit so you don't have to. And you honestly believe the th these things that he tells you. Was that Roadblock saying that yes. about Gal? Okay. Yep. Uh, well, Horizon, you have the Horizon. full picture, maybe you'll get it. Horizon, would you like to give me an alertness with an edge? Yep. Yep. 17? Yeah, good enough. Yeah, so Horizon, you spent a lot of time around Roadblock. Yeah, he'll fight people, but the whole flat out trying to murder thing is new. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that, that's why uh, Horizon hasn't said anything yet. Like, ho holy cow. Mm. He even let Slash and Burn live, uh, live after all the times they fought. Okay. And so I'm assuming we're going to get to the rocket whatever place. Roxy rocket. Rockets. Roxy Rockets. That name seems so familiar, even though I just pulled it out. I'm going to look Red Rocket later. from no, Fallout. No. No, no, it's because I was parroting Johnny Rockets. By saying roadie rockets. Oh yeah, and something got and lost in is... translation when I remembered it. Yeah. So okay. this is a this is a third place. <laughs> yeah, this is a parody of a parody. <laughs> this is a third unrelated place. This isn't just this... a secondary location. This is a tertiary location. Yeah. Man, this is dangerous. And so light plays is, I guess, if there's like a little, I'm assuming we get there without further incident, just seething anger. Yeah. So, uh, sketchy looking, presumably Decepticon aside. Actually, give me another alertness if you all would. Okay. Oh, I'm going to just roll in the, the, in the thing because it, I'm rolling better in the thing than I am out of it recently. Another 17. Oh my God. You were saying... Just, just, just take the L. Just take the L. I'm taking the L. Light blazes, just firmly keeping the two of them from starting another fist fight. I think is really what this is at this point. All right, so 17. Answer. Um, you guys are being followed. Is it is about a twitchy guy again? Yes. Okay. He is not being as sneaky as he thinks he is. I forgot. He's a stunticon, right? Yes. Okay. Anyway, Roxy hmm. Rockets. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. I'm assuming so... there's like a like little host counter, you know, the thing the restaurants do for like getting seated or whatever. Yeah. All right. So how many are we seating tonight? Assuming that no one else suddenly shows up. Five. Five. All right. Would you like a booth or a table? Booth would be And Lightways is going to palm 100 Janix to the host. Private. Just someplace private, please. Um, their pupils are replaced by the Shannock sign. Uh-huh. 
Money talks. <laughs> it sure does, especially if you're a minimum wage waiter. Yep. Yeah. I I do really hope that we hit, we decided to become the sort of people to just leave massive tips because we can. I mean, I'm rich now, so I can, so I definitely can. Yeah. <laughs> Rotorback, do you tip your staff? Uh, yes. How much, Rotorback? Do I make anything? Yes. You're you oh make prime money, whatever that is. Well then, yeah. Prime, prime money. <laughs> All those Shanix we get from being primes that we totally have on us it's at from, all times. It's from that prime real estate. Oh, that's uh, awful. Yep, yep, yep. Also, I do feel like at a certain point, like once, like, oh my goodness, there are four primes. So then everyone just went, yeah, you guys should get paid for being primes. And we just had to kind of go, Okay, I guess. Uh, uh, remember, I did get my money from, from t- being retroactively bli- bribed. Oh, yeah, that is true. <laughs> so I don't know what your, your excuses are, but I have mine. I was the president. You paid, you paid yourself that much. How, I, I don't spend yourself. money. <laughs> we are getting <laughs> sidetracked. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I just wanted to get that is... bit out. We had enough downtime, and our names meant enough that we got paid well for whatever we were doing, enough to not have to actually just worry about money. Anyway. Oh my god, oh my god, Rodeback got a sponsorship deal. <laughs> this session is brought to you by Cybertron Shadow Legends. God dang it. Dang it. I thought I'd keep that bit. Anyway, we are in a private whatever. A very uncomfortable, awkward seating arrangement. Because none of us are small except Horizon. Yeah. And also just the fact that you had two very large bots who were just fighting to the death. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's our seat arrangement then? You're going to sit in a high chair in the aisle. Because it's funny to imagine, (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) No, I expected expected that one, but I'm saying... (laughs) And then... I imagine we're making them sit like diagonally from yeah, each other. Yeah, like opposite ends. I just yeah, imagine yeah. the rest of you just being awkwardly sandwiched between them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay. Basically. Okay. It is... Yeah. Anyway. So. Explanation. Okay. So something you seem to be aware of. Roadblock. Is it still Roadblock. I have no reason to change my name. I'm not hiding from anything. All right, cool. And Gallows. Some roadblock knows you may not know is recently there was a bit of kerfuffle that has resulted in a lot of sparks who died recently being reborn. Apparently, some of them do in fact remember their past lives. Some of them don't. Uh-huh. Is that both of them saying that, I'm guessing? Just Gallows. Uh, yeah. Um, congratulations, you're part of the don't remember part of the thing. Or better or worse, I suppose. Right. <sighs> to rapidly summarize why he is so mad at you, um... Well, hey, Horizon, can you do the hologram thing about the whole Galvatron situation? Yeah, oh, a second. Oh, boy. A second. Roadblock, what the scrap? I, w- I held your funeral. Did you? Yes. It uh, took us a little while. There was a situation to get resolved, but yeah. There, there was the immediate funeral after the headmaster thing. I assume I you're know, not I, showing the headmaster thing in your little projection. I, I'm not. I'm not doing the projection right now. Okay. Yeah, this is a pre-projection, like a hey, what the heck, man? Yeah. Yes, Harry. I don't, I have no idea what you're going by now. I got here as soon as I could. He. I knew that having you two in the same location would go very badly eventually, so I had to protect you from him. Because we all 
Oh wait, he was dead by that point. Never mind. I'm I'm sure you saw the documentary. Yeah. The question is, who was cast as Horizon to get his arms pulled off? Well, let's get Wheelie in here. Why not? <laughs> oh. <laughs> He drained for months to be able to not flinch more than expected at that. They shot that whole scene in one take. Okay, now who was cast as Galvatron? <laughs> Sir, somebody who doesn't how, care how, about their career? Sir, how badly would you think of me if I asked Rotorback to do it? <laughs> Rotorback, the pre- You'll have to the feed me my actress. lines, but sure... <laughs> oh, but that's where okay. Rotorback's money comes from. She's Rot- a top build actress. Rotorback, Rotorback, give me a retroactive performance to see how good you are at channeling Galvatron. No, oh, God. I'd argue she gets an edge because she knew him the best out of most people. Counterpoint. I mean, she knew him the best as Gal, it's not Galvatron. Yeah. Counterpoint. Counter counterpoint. She was there when it happened. Hmm. You know, also, was. I'd like to lend assistance because um, I may have a single point in performance. Okay, you know what? Yeah, you get that edge. Okay. Lightblaze is getting tips on pretending to be someone else. For 17! Me. 17, alright. Let's hear that performance. I want to see your your performance as Rotorpack acting mm-hmm. as Galvatron. Oh. <laughs> What I can't part are we at? Sense. What am I saying? Uh, something, something, uh, bad, big, bad, heroic nonsense, pull arms off. Honestly, just give us your best such heroic nonsense. Tonight is the winter of your discontent. Rah! Pull your arms off. <laughs> All right, so... the script, pull arms off, and then she, like... Really lazily does it. Okay, so Rotorback went to the Orson Welles school of acting, to where she just has no respect for the material and just comes in, says her lines in a somehow really impactful way, despite not caring. Good. All right. And it works. Truly art or whatever. Anyway. Anyway. How, how did we get to this bit? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, um explanation. Oh, it's how Roadblock knew that Hori- that Harry slash Horizon had been killed had been severely injured by Galvatron. That's how that bit happened. <laughs> he had time to he, he basically did the Cybertronian equivalent of Google search your name and just watched all the videos. <laughs> okay. So yeah, he's okay. he saw the movie of Harry getting his arms pulled off by Galvatron. Okay. Oh my gosh. I just realized that means that's a Return of the Prime, <laughs> the movie. That's what the movie is called. <laughs> is Return of the Prime. Okay, so um, I, I'm i going to assume you learned that from a secondhand source, and I gotta tell you, that was, that those events were kind of dramatized. How dramatized are we talking here? Very. Very. Uh Uh-huh. This man is not convinced. Uh, can can I... Can I roll deception? Sure. (laughs) Just show him... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just just do the Michael Bay thing. Yeah, okay, okay. (laughs) It wasn't that bad, he says, flinching, thinking about it. No, no, no. In the opening credits, it says screenplay written by Horizon. <laughs> and and the scars from the arms being ripped off are still very visible, even though he's repainted God knows how many times. Something seeped through the paint or whatever. It's more like it's, it's like welding scars. It's the joint we'll parts, so you can't repaint really those. Yeah. Yep. Anyway. Yeah. So this is a summary of Hey, why is this big dude so mad at you, Gallows? Okay, well, yeah, Gallows, just um, just just brace yourself. It's a lot. So Michael Bay thing, which I'm can I guess should I summarize what the Michael Bay thing is approximately? If that works, as as best and accurately as you can. Um. So to sort of 
So I guess first off is why why is Roadblock so mad at Gallos? It's going to be essentially a summary of Gallos, Galvatron that is, and the role in that bit of guerrilla war between the DJD and basically everyone else on Cybertron. And I guess I'll have to show me shooting Gallows in the face with acid. Yep. Yeah. And how that led to the um, transformation TM. Robot in disguise? Basically a summary of, hey, here's all the, the messed up stuff that Galvatron did and why that happened. As a summary for Gallows, because Gallows is probably incredibly confused. As he should be. Mm-hmm. Yep. And a, a brief highlight reel of stuff he did as Galvatron. Yep. Uh, it's gonna show the thing of him ripping my arms off. In point of view! Hooray! Wait, if it was POV. in his point of view, we wouldn't see anything. No, you'd, you'd see the arms coming off. Uh, uh-huh. And you would see the heroic nonsense bit. Oh, no, I, th- I think I was unconscious for that. Hey, you were, you were, you were uh, blinking out. There uh, we go. As a side note, still genuinely my favorite moment in GMing. No, that's fair. I got to say it, the it, thing. It, it was a good scene. It was a good scene. I got to say mm-hmm. the thing. You got to say the thing. Anyway. Yeah. So with that, uh, the summary of this is why he's mad at you. Give him a bit of time to process that. So we're going to swap focus over to Roadblock, who is Roadblock and not Blackout. I'm, do- I'm doing my best, okay? <laughs> Quasar. <laughs> All right, so... He doesn't even really take the time to process, but uh, he leans over to Horizon. I know. You what? Anyway, what's Quasar doing? Huh? Oh, uh-oh. Uh. <laughs> you son of a bolt. <laughs> Quasar's doing paperwork, happily humming to himself in his uh, tiny office. Office is not tiny. Let's be real. I've always All imagined right, it's size. just... I've imagined it's been like a repurposed janitor closet this whole time. <laughs> we have janitors. Yeah, one, we have janitors. Two, we have presumably several offices. And three, if you're doing Light Blaze's paperwork, she would have let you use her office to do the paperwork in. <laughs> oh, this is so roomy. It's so much better than that closet. <laughs> so you actually like the janitor closet idea then? Kinda. I think it's I think it's humorous. I think that he has an office, but he prefers to be in the janitor's closet because it's cozy. He prefers to be in the closet. Got it. Mm. Yeah, l- listen, we both know he's not in the closet. Anyway. I, I was imagining at some point the janitorial staff decided just to make the office an actual janitorial closet while the closet is the actual office. He has a janitorial thing in his office. Just like, yeah. uh, like a door no, i'm saying like they, they changed the um, room labels okay, after, main thing, this, uh, okay after, after a while main thing i wanted to get at before we got horribly horribly sidetracked is uh does anyone keep quasar or updated at any point through all of this yeah. i think lightblaze has been sending frequent texts let's hear those texts quasar someone just hit gallus with their car what with them <laughs> oh what it's it's roadblock the one who's not a helicopter out of the two that you kept mixing their names up. That one. The He's one alive? Who was, the one who was a car. The one who was a car. Can I get oh, a roll he to remembers. See, can, I get a roll to see, can I get a roll to see if there's a name flub? Sure. Actually, you know what? Lightblaze, roll alertness to see if you can keep their names straight. Thanks. Yeah, you managed to keep their names straight. Yep. Anyway. Oh, oh, he is mad. Oh, he remembers. Oh, he's Stragalos is faking this. Oh, no. We're going to try and get someplace private to discuss this. Qu- Quasar just, is just watching this with, like, a face just, like, of confusion. Like, ha, 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 this is really funny. I didn't take you for the humorous type. Would Lightblaze send uh, one more text at uh, the most recent bit of the conversation? Oh, that's what so that I guess was. The last message that Quasar... Apparently he knew? Exclamation part question mark. Ex- you know. Exclamation point question uh, mark. Mother fragger. So yeah, Quasar is just going to sit with that information. Cut back to the bar. Uh, what? Uh, okay. What was that, Horizon? Uh, I, I'm just repeating what I said last time. You what? Yes, it started slowly, but surely coming back after we went to that terrible, horrible universe with the mustaches. 
<laughs> oh, wait. Okay, that was recent. Okay. Rob, I, t- I turned to Robok. How long have you remembered everything? Basically since I came back. And you didn't... Mm. Okay, so that still puts me at the last to find out in this sort of thing. Okay. And I was going to pull out, like, a notepad. <laughs> As back from the dead, memories returned. There, what, so what, is like a speedrun list? Less like a speedrun list and more I'm deeply curious to see what the different circumstances result in. With, like, the memories and stuff. Would you like to give me an alertness or a science to figure that out? Okay. I'm going to do science because that's the thing I have more in. That would be a good idea. Anyway, that's 15. If it's a success, it's critical. Ooh. All right. So you read the player. How familiar are you with the concept of repressed memories? Oh, no. Oh, 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 no. So, so. Yeah, that was mostly a rhetorical question, but. Uh, you know how you see something so oddly specific that it makes everyone come rushing back? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And with Gallops, it was... Seeing himself, himself. basically. Him, the himself as he was with the repressed memories bit. Yes. Okay. Road, what was Roadblock's trigger? Uh, seeing... How do I put this? I, have, I imagine... There's probably some sort of like, hello, Newspark, here's a primer on recent situ- history. Yeah, it's basically stuff. seeing Horizon as a prime. Oh my god. Alright. Okay. Alright, okay. Alright, okay. Uh huh. Okay, so what I'm hearing is Gauss had not seen a movie. No. <laughs> So Lively says, put together that, oh, so that was repressed memories, and that's why it took so long for him. And he didn't have repressed memories, at least not nearly as much. And his trigger to awaken him was a lot easier. And mine, well, technically, I don't have any of the bits except the spark in a completely different body that wasn't built for peopling. So it makes Uh, sense. Also, you technically didn't have a trigger. Didn't you just get temporarily possessed? Yes, or except haunted. that was not what caused me to remember it. It was something else. It, oh. it was flat out being told by your creator. Yep. Just one of those. Never mind. I'm, no, anyway, I'm Lead Belcher. Lead Belcher, yeah. I imagine okay. this is a very tense and uncomfortable table right now. Yeah. I gestured to waste her, the waiter to not come over. <laughs> Give me performance. I will like, assist with the gesturing if needed. I, I'm just doing the really quick cut it out kind of gesture, you know, hand okay, across the neck. Okay, because I was imagining you were blinking at the waiter in Morse code. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, is your day so freak? No. I, I bring it up because, like, I know we're in a restaurant. At some point, someone would have tried to come and take take order. Yeah. Gallows, why are you blinking so much? <laughs> I, am, I, I am not doing that bit. <laughs> anyway. Namely, so, because I have very tiny eyes. Anyway, well, compared to, compared to everybody else, we are getting very stupid tonight. Yep, we're having a, it's a silly time. This is great. So, I'm a little high. That explains a lot. <laughs> uh. Anyway, so with that explanation having been e- explained, so I guess you're wondering, what's like, why are we trusting him then, Gary? Blackout. Not blackout, roadblock. Oh my Light god. Blaze, take one point of psychic damage. <laughs> uh-huh. Wow, if I was anyone else in the table, this would actually be actively detrimental to me. Anyway. I, I just put my hands on my face. I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, and the whole Michael Bay hologram. Do you show Galvatron dying? I mean, I feel like that would be kind of important. Yeah. And yeah. the yeah. Whole dying to save Rotorback bit, especially, I imagine, is important. Yeah, so with that in mind, Roadblock's mm-hmm. just going to say, to most of you, but also mostly Gallows, do you think one single noble deed isn't nearly enough to make up for everything he had done? I'm kind of waiting for Gallus' response. Lightblaze has also been texting updates with like quotes of what like what people are saying to Quasar this whole time. Yeah, 
Gallus isn't really responding, just narrowing his eyes at Roadblock. He's exhibiting an unprecedented amount of self-control. Okay. Lifewise, please get me out of the booster seat. <laughs> Lifewise will remove him from the booster seat. Is right. it on the ground? Yes. All right. Am I tall enough to, to at least look over the table? Just barely. Okay, great. So I'm going to do a table slam. As um, much as I can get out of, out of, out of that. <laughs> well, you just slam your hands on the table? Yes, but since it's, you know, my height. Give me might it's, with a snag. I'm, I'm not trying to, like, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just doing it for dramatics, okay? I, I just want to see how pitiful that, the cat. sound is. Oh, fine. Bongo, Bongo cat. Six. Um, it's about as loud as the noises I make for Slicer running. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that, that sounds right. Just... <laughs> Slight padding. Roblox, I'm not saying any of us here would forg- forgive Gallus what he did in his past. What I'm saying, he's at least trying now. And do you and... honestly trust him? I want to. Yeah, no, that's that's a good way of putting it. You don't give him trust now. It's just gonna, things are just going to be worse. I don't know what you want from us. If we don't put out a hand in kindness first, we don't have the right to be surprised if he decides to come for us with violence later. We have just, to try. This may come as a bit of a shock, but we don't want the cycle of violence of the war to continue. Forever. I'd like it for the past to sort of stay in the past as much as it can with this sort of thing. He's working to do better and help, like, the organized government and not doing terrorist things. Like... At that point, Gal is just gonna walk out. He is sandwiched into the back of the booth. He climbs over us. No, 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 he climbs over the back. Of the yeah. Uh, Light place is gonna get him something to go whenever the waiter works up the courage to come over to us. That's gonna be a while. Off he goes. Yep. yep. So, Roblox, I I know it's not the same degree, but when I was recruited into Autobots, you were you were one of the ones that gave me a chance. Sort of. I'm. I'm asking for the same, sort of. For, for Gallows. Uh, roll Persuasion. Oh boy, I have your point in it. Oh dear. <laughs> Good thing I can substitute the infiltration. <laughs> Good thing. And then... Since it is originally a persuasion role, may I lend assistance with it? Since I've also been, you sure can. We we're all involved in that conversation there to persuade. Go right ahead. Oh, so promise. enjoy that edge. Nineteen. All right. Upon some reflection, Roadblocks just going to say, "I trust that you believe him, but." He's too dangerous to be kept alive. But I will keep an eye on him before that happens. Also, I'm joining you on your ship. Bye. No, that, was given. Leaves. That, that was a given. I'm just annoyed we have a chain of stalkers now. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's more oh. paperwork. More paperwork. <laughs> Life wise, if it makes you feel any better, I can I can fill this out right here. All right, so Light Blaze is going to hand him the paperwork that it requires, including you know the licensing, yeah, and uh, the regulations, yep, and the consent forms, yep, and the pay forms, mm-hmm. and the divisional mm-hmm. forms, yep, and the <laughs> copies of all those forms. Uh, you wait. Do you want his triplicate or quadruplicate? Just double because the triplicate is kept entirely digital and is sent back to Cybertron for 
data purposes. Yeah, okay. is, is Horizon counted as his parent or guardian in this situation? No, I just memorized his information last time this happened. Last time? When was the last time this happened? <laughs> so basically, when I was following my forums, I I asked for a another cop, someone else's, to see if I'm formatting it right. Okay. So they gave me roadblocks. Okay. So oh, I'm because I, they had paperwork for when you joined the Autobots. Yeah. Even though you're press ganked into it. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. I'm also forging a signature. Give me a performance for that forgery. Does he still have the same phone number? Unclear. I'm going to text it just to see. Hey, you getting this? (laughs) That line has been disconnected. Okay. Dang. Uh, I don't know that. (laughs) 13? (sighs) If it was anyone other than Lightblaze filing the paperwork, you wouldn't be fooling anyone. Yeah, but all the, almost all the information is correct. So, and the you information is correct. The signature just doesn't pass muster, and I think Lightblaze does erase the signature to have him actually sign it later. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah. So most of his information is correct, but like date of birth, his current like height and weight, that's different. Yeah, Lightblaze gonna erase those then, I guess, and we're gonna call it good enough until we get him to confirm things. But hey, his hot, his eye color is still right. Well, hey. Anyway, I, mean, I, I have eyes. I could I could verify that myself. <laughs> so, do we want to check out that shifty guy who seemed to be tra- like tailing us earlier, or do we want to just go back to the ship? Uh, knowing our luck, we'll find out on the, on our way out. All right, that's fair. And Lightblaze is going to leave a large tip at the table, even though we didn't actually order any food. Thinking on it. I got real awkward real fast before you ordered anything. Yeah. I'm just going to order some drinks to go. Actually, yeah, I think food to go, I guess, for the five of us or whoever ends up wanting it on the ship. We are not going on a... We are not bringing back a food run. Yeah, you gotta order ahead for that kind of thing. There are a thousand members on this ship. Fine, I will specifically bring something back for Quasar since he didn't get to come with us for this incredibly awkward adventure. I'm also going to get something for Room Room since they covered for him. <laughs> In retrospect, Quasar was the lucky one. Yeah. Anyway. I guess we head back and let the plot come to us. Alright, everyone. Are you actually trying to follow this shifty fella? Oh, I, I mean, thought I thought it, I, I, I thought he was following us. He was following you, and now he's now he's going back to report wherever. That tripped me up way more than it should have. So then, yeah, I guess we follow him. Do you want to get Quasar to join us, or do we want to just? Uh, I say call. I say call him just in case. Okay, Life will make it an actual phone call because I'm assuming Horizon has possibly gotten a bit of a vantage point off of whoever is necessary to see the guy and follow where he's going. I mean, I could just try to visible and follow him, and I'd tell you where he's going. Anyway, hey, Quasar. What happened? What's going on? Did they fight? Was there a brawl? Who was? I'm exci- so excited. Why do you sound so excited? <laughs> Two. Roadblock does not trust the situation, but he's going to join us on our crew to make sure that Something something Galvatron doesn't hurt us. Something something putting put him down before he does something something. So there's oh. that. Yeah. Well, I've been keeping my distance for Gallows, and I'm gonna have to make sure that. <sighs> All right. So where are we now? Where are we doing? There was a twitchy guy. We're gonna follow him. Do you want to meet up and join us? Is it just gonna be y'all? I feel like it'd be very awkward if it was Gallows was there. Yeah, as far as I can tell, the other two are en route back to the ship. I'm going to Oh god, who can I ask to make sure they don't fight? Ask ask Quick Draw. Mm-hmm. Quick Draw, yeah, I'll ask Quick Draw to make make sure that they don't fight. He probably has good in 
infiltration or whatever <laughs> out of character whatever that is but yeah I'll meet you where are you insert co current coordinates yep, here light place is just going to send like a basically a google maps pin a cyber All maps right. pin mm -hmm. uh, I'll uh let people know to keep the uh, ship on watch since we're not going to be there and I'll head on over. Rotorback, you getting in on this? Oh yeah, of course. Alright, for following sketchy suspects, uh, give me infiltration. Oh boy. Mm, Do I get boy. anything because I'm invisible? Yeah, you'd get and an edge. And so I'm silent. I have some bad news for everyone. Oh, wow. The ones? I don't have anything in it. Hmm. No, best roll. Uh, I also got five. All right. So... You know what? I'm not going to just follow them. I'm going to get in the air. I'm going to see if I can right. see them. If you're, the the air, instead. if you're up in the air, I'll let you... Uh... Do that with an edge. Oh, okay. People don't look for alertness or infiltration. Infiltration. Oh, okay. Eight. That's better. All right, the average is good enough. So you see him stop, and he says, "I, I feel like someone turns around wants to sell me something." Hide behind a building. I'm just invisible. <laughs> Drop all my encyclopedias I was planning on selling to him on the ground. He doesn't see anything. So he just turns back around and starts walking. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> is he blind? <laughs> He's just really stupid, is the thing. GM, please tell us what that role was. He got a one. Oh my god! Nice. <laughs> you know what the sad thing is? Yeah. He gets an edge because of his paranoia. See, he got double ones. Nice. Does he have no points in? Does he, does he have points in it at all? No. So that would have canceled out. It should have. I didn't realize that when I rolled it. But he still got double one, so it doesn't matter. That's amazing. Breakdown is paranoid, but he is also stupid, apparently. Apparently. So yeah, you see him duck into an alley, pokes his head out to make sure no one's look watching, no one's looking, no one's following. Ducks into the alley, takes a right into the alley, takes a left into the other alley, and then he uh meet someone to yeah. us to look over a shipment of Dill. my notes cut off right there and I forgot what I actually had there that's what actually you... hilarious <laughs> what do you mean your notes cut off I guess it didn't <laughs> save when I was at work oh god oh. a shipment of dark energon we'll say that Injex. Yeah. there oh, we go of that, that stuff oh. from prime Dr Cyber and drug. Jack. What was uh, the name of that? Yeah. And NX and Energex. Thank you. <laughs> Energex. Oh, the fake Energon or whatever. Yeah. The synth Synthex. Thank you. Yeah. Does that explode? It's a it's a performance enhancer. Uh, it's especially enjoyed by our racers. It makes them go faster. Uh, it is also outlawed on this planet. I think it's on one of the planet. But is it explosive? Uh, give me science. Circuit, I, 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 I tried to make a car. I to make a cars two reference. No, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, I what forgot that about that. He's the bomb. Oh, that was a subplot. Yeah, that was my favorite scene when Mater says that's explosive and he farts a missile and they all die and then the credits yeah, so, roll, right? Yeah, so Breakdown <laughs> just tells Motormaster, yeah, I managed to get here without, everyone, without anyone seeing me. 
And Motormaster just says, Yes, Breakdown. Your endless whining save the day. <laughs> and he smacks Breakdown upside the head. Hey, Quasar, you should take some pictures so we can turn them into the police or whatever. I will take some pictures and I'll use right, my... I'm right here. Yes. Yeah, but I have a pic. I have, I specifically have a camera. And for two, you are kind of known for having beef with them. 3D hog and projection. Yeah, it can be both. Just like, yes, here's other additional evidence that it's not just him being mad because. I will, I will take, I will take pictures and I will use worth a shot and whatever I need to roll. I think that's a six and a seven. That'd be thirteen. 13. I'm not very smart, okay? We know. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. I know. Anyway, 13. This was to take pictures, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a little blurry. It's not unusable. It's just a little shaky. I can I would... have light, bla light blaze uh, enhance them. Would anyone like to uh, give another infiltration? I should not. <laughs> um, sure. Are we even staying hidden still? I mean, I am. I would hope so. Okay. Um, I guess I will attempt to give an infiltration then. Nine, twenty-three. There went that twenty from earlier. Thirteen. Thirteen. Quasar. That's not terrible. Oh, I uh, I have nothing in it. Oh boy. Oh, oh, I got an 18 and a 19. Nice. 18. 18. So, uh, rotor back, light blaze. Mm -hmm. Ripper, ripper running. Enemy spotted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Motormaster looks in you guys' direction and he smacks Breakdown again. He's like, Breakdown, you idiot. Don't you know when you're being followed? I thought I did. And then you see the other stunt cons come f uh, flooding in when he summons them. Mm -hmm. and, There's a uh, West Side Story joke in here somewhere. What? There's a West Side joke, West Side Story joke in here somewhere. Honestly, that would be pretty on point. Just. And Motormaster, along with his stunt cons, are just gonna say, "And what do you think you're doing in here?" Uh... Uh, tonight is the winter of your discontent. What? Shoot the fake energon and explodes. Motormaster That's takes plan. Motormaster takes four psychic damage from having heard that. <laughs> <laughs> you just see his neck twitch. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Circuit, save that as an attack. <laughs> yes. I. You know, I I had a whole thing going. I was the, I was the mob boss on top on top, and then you made me break character. <laughs> Stunticons combined to form Menasaur to be continued. <laughs> 